How's it going? This is Odd. Hey, it's Red here. And Mal. And you're about to listen to our podcast. I'm just going to give you a heads up. Probably not the greatest for having your kids around. Nope. We are a 18 plus podcast. And we would appreciate if you would take that into consideration, as we honestly are have horrible mouths, and terrible obviously influences will ruin your life. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, by what our name is, we are the Ganja people. And I was smoking during this intro. <laughs> hey, I'm Ud. I'm Red. And I'm Mal. And we are. The Gotcha People. How's it going, everybody? How to do? Hey. Since when do you talk first? I I heard the click and he, he said to. that he's the one who always started it, so I wanted to jump the gun on this one. I was curious. It kind of threw me for a loop for a second. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Oh, I don't care. I know, but I wasn't ready. <laughs> I don't care. I was just waiting for it. <laughs> like I just had a feeling. Like he like looked at me and then like I hit the button and then. Like, I could always just tell what he's thinking. I don't know. Me and him I have, gotta, have the stoner brain together. I, I, I just gotta jump the gun sometimes, you know. Have fun. Have fun with it. Always. I mean, that's why we started a podcast. Exactly. To have some fun. Yeah, it is. Last time I knew, your lighter had fallen into you there. But you must have got it out already. I didn't get it out. I dropped my lighter. That purple one? I don't freaking know. I think it was the purple one. Yeah, it bounced on the floor earlier. Oh, where'd it go? Like a long while ago. I thought you got it, though. No, I need it. <laughs> Red got it, and he's just like... <laughs> Give it back, you fuck! I no, I, did, I just was being a smartass, because he's over here laughing. I only have my white one. What the hell? Maybe you should stand up. While we have intermission, tonight's snack of the night is peach rings. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> I don't know why, but we are all... Trying to get that sponsorship still here. Yeah, yeah, along with the paper towels. Hey, Bounty, Sparkle, huddle, help us out. Somebody. Somebody pay us. Give us stuff. Give us paper towels. Give us your stuff. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Wow. Under her knee. Yep. Under her I don't know how it got there, but... Under the sea. Under the sea. Fucker. <laughs> oh, man. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, guys, tonight's going to be the green hit of the night. Is out of Cubert. I love the name Cubert. <laughs> so, it's not my pipe, but... You know where I got the name Cubert from? Where? From a System of the Down song. There's a dude nice. named Cubert in one of those songs? No, like, just the name of the song is called Cubert. I don't think I know that one. No? It's off of the self-titled. Okay. The first CD. You know, my parents, they wanted to buy me a System of Down CD because they knew I liked Chop Suey. So they bought me the self-titled. <laughs> and it doesn't have Chop Suey. <laughs> toxicity Yeah, has. Toxicity has it. So I didn't get CD the right I CD. Know, I didn't, oh, I know. all. I have all of their CDs. I... A big system of down fan. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not going to say I'm not. I, I, I am. I will say they're probably one of the best acts I've ever seen live, though. Oh, I would sure. imagine. Just I've seen uh, recordings and just how his, his energy, his it, like, singer's energy is just crazy. He, he sings as fast as every soundtrack, oh, yeah. like every sound he has. Yeah, he's every track he that. has. He's not faking that. He's Oh, no, that he's fast. that fast. And, like, clear as day, like... They're so good live. Is that that group of people that I can't fucking stand? Yeah, because of yeah. Because stupid song. <coughs> fuck that. <coughs> we can yeah. all agree on one thing. Mal <coughs> has shitty taste people, in music. <laughs> two out of three people agree. Chop Suey is fucking Some fantastic. Some motherfucker screams, wake up at me at 2.30 in the morning. They can fuck off. Well, that's my fault. I did that. Okay, well, you're not <coughs> asking, I'm not going to tell you to fuck off. So they're my I'm just song. saying, I set it up to do that. So, I mean, it's my fault. Okay, well, fuck that song. I, mean, <laughs> I had, um, for BYOB, I had the... I did not hear it. And she was like, fuck you, motherfucker! I was She, so like, mad. literally sm- like, smacked me. Like, like, Turn that motherfucker off! I would get so mad. I hated that thing. I hated Dude, it. Dude, I loved it. I was like, yes. I think you just enjoyed being smacked. I just thought I was funny smacked as fuck. him every fucking time that thing went off. It was funny as fuck, though. Come on. <clears throat> Having fucking 
Surge wake you up every day? There you go. Oh, man. I can't say I've not done that, too. Because sometimes, if you're woken up to just the right... The, you know, the right sound, you're in a good mood. I actually had it as the beginning part, like the, all the guitar riffs right, at right. the beginning of it, and then the end of it was where he said wake up. That yeah, was the so, very end of the... So if you didn't wake up... So you up, had like 40 seconds of, mute, yeah. of guitar to be like, okay, oh, get up, wake up. I didn't hear the guitar. All I'd hear was all of a sudden someone screaming at me to wake up, and it pissed me <laughs> off. <laughs> that one sounds like a more of a actual... Alarm clock. And as soon as it was like, wake up, then it was just done right there. And then it went back to the music of their, <coughs> the beginning of the guitar. Oh no, at guitar. one point you had it yelling the wake up and that entire part of that wake up part. <laughs> and it was fucking stupid. <laughs> it was the most obnoxious thing in the whole world. Dude, the shit that I love, like, it's my fave. It's my fave. He does shit like this to fuck with me simply <laughs> because I'm a pain in the ass and I know it. And the, like, Half our life is a pain in the ass because <laughs> that's his revenge. I many- love good alarm clocks like that too. Just like you know, you know what mine is now. It's my ringtone of Brian and Stewie talking. <laughs> Mine's uh, it's Alucard walking down in a hallway, and all of a sudden he asks, "Hey guys, how's your health plan?" And one of the cops starts shooting so that you get a lot of gunfire. And it's like apparently it's great. Okay, guys, my alarm, if I actually set one to wake up, is a nice, gentle alarm. I can't even hear it. It don't wake me up. But <laughs> yeah, so you don't hear the beginning of Chop Suey. <laughs> it's guitar in there. I'm like, how do you not get that? But you get your soft... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to, You wanted to wait one second until you could cough? Yeah. Oh, okay. What part of 2.30 in the morning are you not understanding here? 2.30 in the morning, I'm out cold. I didn't even, like, <coughs> when you got up in the middle of the night to go do truck, I don't remember nothing. Yeah, I know. Okay? I was tired. At 2.30 in the morning, I'm sleeping. I don't hear the guitar. I hear somebody screaming to wake up, and it pisses me off. But yet, you hear your bullshit alarm. Yeah, because that goes off at, like, 6 or 8, not 2. That's like four hours later when I'm I don't see when it makes a difference. <laughs> because either way, it's an alarm to wake you up. I'm if it doesn't do its job at 2.30 in the morning, why would it do it at 6? <coughs> because I've had more sleep and I'm no. in a different sleep cycle. I no. call it bullshit. Yeah, me too. You guys can call bullshit. I know I'm right. You should be able to have it. Be, it should wake you up at any time if no. it's an alarm. I like a nice, gentle alarm. I like to be woken up nice and gentle. If you wake me up the wrong way, I'm going to be fucking pissy the rest of the day. Ask him. He will tell you. If I get broke up in the wrong <coughs> way, I am an ass. She she gets to the point where she's just an ass until... Like, if she's got deprivation of things, she's just an ass about stuff. Yeah, but if you wake me up wrong, I'm a dick. Like, if you come in my room and it's dark in there and I'm sleeping and you flip on the light, I'm a deck you. Well, you know what would fix that? Tonight's strand of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that would... I don't well, she's all pissed off, but, you know. I'm not pissed off today. I know you're not. I'm just saying. Anyway, poor segues after, you know. So, uh, the strand of the night that we're smoking is Runts. Um, it's pretty, pretty fucking fantastic, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's 19% THC. Um, it doesn't say there's any CBD in it, uh. They say energizing. I think it just makes you stupid. <laughs> I call bullshit. I don't know about energizing, but it doesn't make me tired, though. Yeah, it's not like... Our wax does, though. I don't so, know, like, because we haven't used any of it without the wax. <laughs> yeah, we've been smoking... Like, we've been ripping a, a dab or two, and then smoking a bowl. And then we're really fucked for, like, four or five hours. So, like, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. So, runts... Actually, I feel like we talked about this before because it's a crossbreed of Skittles and gelato. No. No? I think what we talked about... I think we talked about both of those. Okay. Well, nonetheless, if we did or not... They can relearn. It'll be okay. Let me talk about it. No, I think it was something else in gelato. It probably was... And like another, I think it was uh, I think Girl just, Scout cookies and gelato was what we were talking about, whatever the two of those together were. And I feel like 
we talked about Skittles and something else before, too. So yeah. it's just strands we've talked well, about. Well, you have to think, parent strands and shit all come... I oh, mean, yeah. They can you gotta have, think people started off with only a couple sets of plants that they had, you know... Come on, guys. I'm a stoner. My information might get mashed here and there. <laughs> Cut us some slack. We're sitting on our porch. Yeah, not yeah, professionals. yeah. So, um... This is different. It actually has a different feeling than others that I've gotten. One of wow. them is being talkative. <laughs> oh, like so. when, that is the like last it must thing just like means. open you up to be talkative, huh? Yeah, yeah. I guess it's just wow. being more talkative. Now, what happens relaxed, like with us? We're all talkative. <laughs> all well, already. I guess we're just gonna keep talking then. Um, flavors that have been reported as sweet berry and citrus. I'd, I'd see all those. Yeah. Just from what I'm smoking. Um, I can't tell. The dabs definitely... really kind of fuck up your yeah. <laughs> sense of yeah. shit. I get it. I get it. We're, um, we're dabbing some sugar. So, Runtz is a parent of Runtz Button and Pink Runtz. I don't know the parents to either of those, but those both sound interesting. I want to try Runtz Button. Right? Runts. It's buttons with another Z. I forgot. I didn't put it. Oh, I want to try the runts buttons. I, I know, I know. <laughs> I missed the Z, too. So. But, it's yeah. Just, <laughs> runts it. buttons. It's not telling me much on growing, though. It's okay. So, can't go into that. But, at the end of it, I really like this shit. It's At the end of the day, good. Red highly recommends and enjoys it. Yeah. It's pretty good weed. Yeah. Yeah, it is. We had it two weeks ago. We had some. You know, last, this stuff? Last week. We just bought this like a couple days ago. Yeah, I know. We got this on Monday. But the last time we got from them, was that last week or the week before? Last week. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was good. It wasn't this, but it was good. Oh, my God. I just don't know what that was. I hate putting anything out. Or anything <laughs> being pissed, because, like, oh, between my shoulders is so shitty. Yeah. Oh, I fucked my neck. Fucked it real good. Well, the wave made you headbutt me. In the back. Yeah, it did. <laughs> like, I just, like, took my chin right into her and just went, bam, and, like... At a hard speed. <laughs> Fun. Because of the wave. Oh. Fun. It hurts so bad. We went to the beach <coughs> today. It was And hot. I guess it was fucky around here. It was oh, yeah. Beautiful. It was it beautiful was at the beach. It was a downpour in town. No. And judging by looking at everything here... It was just as bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, was, guys, it like, definitely had to have been... Like, our door barely ever gets rained on. Yeah. Okay, it's got eight feet from... The edge of the porch to there to hit it. That's eight feet. And, like, it's eight feet. It is? Don't give me that look. Because when we bought this, it was eight by 28. As as someone who has laid on your porch, yes, it is eight feet. Okay. I'm just as saying. As someone who is also 6'5", yes, it's eight feet. I'm just saying. It, it's okay. definitely <laughs> eight by 28. Unless, Unless you include the steps. There. Right. The rain never reaches the door, though, regardless. And yeah, it, it, very, it, very it, rarely. Yeah. Today, I'm sitting on a tablecloth in my chair <laughs> so that my butt doesn't get wet. Nobody likes a wet ass. We call that I mean, swamp it's, ass. It's better yeah. than a wet <laughs> ass, I guess. I That's when Shrek shows up and just, you have to argue whose swamp it is. Nah, it's my swamp. <laughs> Shrek and I have been having that conversation for a freaking week. It's been so hot. <laughs> She's having that conversation with him in the ass and the and ass and the boobs. Uh huh. She's having the fight with more the boobs and the, the ass. She's fighting with the donkey for the boobs. Ugh. <laughs> Are you the donkey I'm fighting? No, I'm just saying. You know the donkey. I know. I'm just giving you a hard time. <coughs> track. I know. They you got can be the swamps. ass if that's what you want. I said him, not me. What now? Oh. I asked if he was donkey. Oh. oh. No, every time we watch Shrek, he informs me that I'm Donkey. I would be Shrek, she would be Donkey. I could see it. Me too. I could definitely see oh, it. I'd oh, be for donkey sure. Donkey in a heartbeat. Donkey's way more fun. 
Now I'm a flying donkey. Now I'm a flying talking donkey. Do you know who was originally casted to play Shrek? Yes, Chris Farley. He was. That he was actually good? died during recording, which is sad. There was actually recordings of Chris Farley. He, he died he um, awesome. before they started recording it. That was his um, line sets to see how they liked him when they were going against other people. And Mike Myers actually took second for the spot, so he didn't get it. And then Chris Farley actually died. They were supposed; to, they had to wait a couple of months be, in production before they started doing the voiceovers, and he died in that time. Oh, man. So they gave it to um, Mike. That would have been Myers. a very interesting Shrek. He had a more like a... It sounded more Scottish. Yeah. Is what it sounded like. Uh, you can YouTube it. Uh, look up um, Chris Farley as Shrek. I probably haven't watched it in a while, but I do remember. It's very Scottish. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine the entire Shrek series with Chris Farley and Eddie Murphy starring oh, together the entire God. fucking thing? Man, that would have been real good. <laughs> yeah. They're in Beverly Hills Ninja together, yeah? Okay, well, I've seen that, like, yes, one time, and it was are. when I was stoned, and before is I had Is it Eddie Indian. Murphy that's in Beverly Hills or before I had the Beverly Hills is definitely... Or is that Chris Tucker? No, no it's that? definitely Eddie Murphy is that's it? in, uh... I don't fucking know. Yeah. Because it's the one that goes... Dun, 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 dun. Guys, I haven't seen that movie since yeah. I <laughs> baked before the boy, okay? Like, it's been a hot minute. I used to have it on DVD. I don't know where it went. Probably your ex-wife. Right? Last yeah. time I watched it, my dad was around, so that says something. <laughs> I absolutely... No, it's Chris Rock. Chris Rock's in it with him. That's why it is. I knew it was one of the funny black guys, okay? There's like four or five of them that are in a lot of movies. Yeah. Okay? It's just... Like from when we were kids. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Chris Rock was in movies as we were kids. Not as much as he is nowadays. Yeah. Oh but he God, definitely was. No, and then Chris listen. Tucker and Eddie Murphy. They all are very similarly shaped, too. What is the movie? I'm having a really hard time. What is it? Rush Hour. I that need to, is... I need to watch that movie That's Chris again. Tucker. Tucker, yeah. That yeah. movie, is it kills me. I die every single time I watch it. Right. Can Do you, you understand the words that come out of my mouth? I know! It's so, and Jackie Chan just looks at him like he's fucking retarded half the time. And I just can't help but laugh. Because oh, I'm yeah. like, my husband looks at me like that. Oh, yeah. Can you hear the words <laughs> coming out of my mouth? You should have seen the look he gave oh, me yeah. today. Holy fuck. What did I ask? I don't know. Something that I was blown away by the fact <laughs> you asked me it. I was like, what? It was a very evident situation. I also really enjoyed it's, the fifth element. It was, was something also in that, that. It was something to do I don't remember with, who's in that. That led to Bruce Willis. Decision yeah, making. Bruce Willis. I don't remember who played the female role. Uh, it's Alice from um, Resident Evil. Yeah, fuck. I can't Mila, remember. Mila, Mila Kunis. No, no. Mila. Uh, all I can think of is bitch. I can't think of her. <laughs> She's fucking Russian. <laughs> the one that plays Alice in the Resident Evil. I'm not thinking about that. No, I'm well, trying to remember know, what I was already trying to remember. God damn it! I could tell you. It was something that had to do with why it takes me forever to make decisions. It led to that conversation. Oh, so she fucking. This is what she does. She goes. Oh fuck! How did you put? It? How did it go? Uh, what were we talking about? Got sidetracked. We were on our way to the beach. We we're coming down this big hill. No, we were just getting out of climber during that conversation. Fuck, I don't remember. <laughs> Good God. Anyways, it like blew my mind. Like she looks at it, everything the most negative way she can. No, I look at everything that could possibly happen. All the scenarios. And I'm like, but what if this happens? And he's like... Really? Like, the likelihood of whatever she was talking about... Oh, she's talking about, like, like a 1% nothing. chance. Yeah. The, like, one in a million thing that could happen, And yeah. that's why it takes me so long to make decisions, because I think about those, and I weigh those out, whether it's really worth that risk or not. Yeah, that's, that's why it takes me forever to make decisions. Awful. I mean, I've done the A one in a thing. million chance of something? No. No. Yeah. No. I'm just saying, no. I think about it. I don't. I overanalyze and overthink everything. It's an Aries thing. Yeah. 
there are things that have happened months ago that I still overanalyze and think about all the time. But at the same time, or years ago, the reason Aries think like made. that is because usually Aries have had something that was one in a million happened. Yeah, exactly. Like, I got hit by a cement truck. Like, how many people say that? I got hit by a cement truck and lived, you know? I guess right. I should think about things like that. I've had a bird fly into my car while I was driving and almost nail me in the face. Like, yeah. I mean... <clears throat> I've had a log fall off a log truck and bounce off the hood of my car. I think about that shit. I deal with shit when it comes along. That's the way to live. That's how I <laughs> or Like, it. that's the way to live. Or, I think, o- overthink things that, no, were, that then are going to happen. Stresses you out in everything that you can do. And that would just be insane. It's because she's part Scorpio. I'm not going to lie, it is. <laughs> It doesn't matter what it is. I always think worst case scenario with everything. I have to think about what the worst case scenario so, is going to be. And how during we sex, it. what's worst case scenario if it's everything? What it breaks? slips into somebody somebody's butt? Like that's like worst case scenario in her thought process. Oh, oh, I was like thinking, as it's what going. Does she have that worry when we're doing shit? I'm like, no. You worst can break case scenario. <laughs> Your vasectomy is reversed, and somehow an egg is able to hold on to my burned out lining, so and we end up in a very a dangerous really pregnancy. Time. Okay? I've thought about it. <laughs> but I mean, we do a lot of sex, and so I mean, in your it case, can't bother you too much because. No. <laughs> in your worst case, she could break your dick. It'd be half working for a week or a month or yeah. whatever it was. Yeah. To if fix. I break his dick, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I better have my period shortly after. So that right. the nice thing about dead. that is, I get piss around the corner. <laughs> I get piss around you the corner. Could hit our toilet from our shower. There you go. <laughs> that's a way to think. I'm just saying. That's how I think of shit. Like I'll be like, uh huh. And Jokes I'm on you. <laughs> I can do this now. I can go stand here. up to a urinal and piss on the guy next to me. <laughs> Tax. <laughs> what did you say, motherfucker? <laughs> Oh, Piss man. attacks! <laughs> I overanalyze anything and everything there is. I can't help it. You can't live like that, though. That's <laughs> I live like that every day for 31 years. Stop it. <laughs> it's awful. Stop it, he says. I'm just saying, stop it. If you, if I thought I knew how to turn that shit on and off, don't you think I'd fucking do it? I just deal with shit as it comes. I try really hard. That's the best way to live. Just I deal try. with it as it comes. And then, you don't have to worry about when shit don't happen. You ever seen that thing on Facebook where it says I overthought something and I hurt my own feelings? I've felt that in my soul, okay? Overthinking is a thing. I'm just saying, just live like Mama says, don't sweat the petty stuff, pet the sweaty stuff. (laughs) I Come don't, on now. <laughs> I don't want to pet the sweaty stuff. I would never oh, want okay. to pet the sweaty stuff. Okay. Who are you trying to lie to? What fucking sweaty stuff do I pet? My sweaty stuff. <laughs> Duh. It ain't sweaty when I ain't petting it. I'm just saying. It ain't sweaty till I'm fucking done with it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It ain't sweaty when I start petting it. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just saying. I'm it's just a saying. really good thing to live by. Tell that to my anxiety. I I hope it listens to you better than me. I'm just saying. I do the Don't worry about I shit can. that don't happen. Just worry about the shit that does happen. I think Red can understand that sometimes it's just not something you can really help. Sometimes. Sometimes you can get out of it and you're okay. Sometimes, sometimes you just you gotta just drown it out of the back of your head. Sometimes that's easier said than done. I know. <laughs> you love me anyway. What? I was just using it for some light. It's really bright, actually. Like, super well, bright. Then turn on the freaking light. I don't want to turn on the light, though. It's all the way over there. Yeah. Oh, no, I, my ass see. is lazy. I don't want to hear shit from you. You don't ever get out of your fucking chair once we start the show, so I don't want to hear That's it. because I'm the farthest away. Yeah. And it's the Well, most- when you get up, do this for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Every Thanks. single time. Oh yeah. Every I want to hear your shit. I want to hear it. <laughs> That's the game she plays. Oh hey, you're getting up. Oh, could you give so, me a glass of water? Three, 
you know, bags of this, a little bit of that, and don't forget this. Thanks. Yeah, don't forget to bring out that. For fuck's sake, it's usually like a thing. Make sure you take the dogs out while you're standing. Thanks. <laughs> Let the dogs out while you're walking through the door. Thanks. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're already going through the door. Make a list of shit while you're doing something. Make a fucking list, for God's sake. Then again, I I can't say anything because I did the same thing today after getting picked up. I was like, hey, uh, can we get some pizza? Oh, that's what took so long. Yeah, and then I was like, ah, I should probably get some drinks at Kofo. I need some Bo Show at some Kofo. Oh, man. (laughs) Yes, we had to go to Country Fair then. I know, I'm horrible. That's okay, because Jordan does it too, too. <laughs> he asked me to take the Yukon the other day, because he doesn't like getting in the car. He hates getting oh, in and out of the car. I was like, I guess. He goes, he asked me, and it's I'm It's cost like, me three times the amount of money in gas to go the same distance. He hates trying to get in and out of the yucking. Hates it. Or not. No. I do I it every day. Car. Like four times a day. I think because my first car was a Dodge Stratus, I'm used to crawling into those tiny cars. I'd much rather crawl up into my Yukon than try and crawl down into your car. I, uh... Because I have a harder time getting out of your car. Uh, the Chevy Malibu, whatever the one Kara has. Okay. I hate getting into her car because it is so fucking tiny. I thought she had a Sentry. I have no idea. I don't know. I, the last car I got in there is a so fucking tiny. All I know about her car is I ripped the bumper off of it with my car. That's all I know. It was that car. What? Probably. Yeah, when I, she put her damn car in the snow this year, and you were sleeping, and we were trying to get her car out. I told her, hook the chain on something metal under your car, not your axle. I felt the something frame. Metal. It was under the there. whole fucking thing's metal. No. 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 Her bumper's Her bumper's plastic, plastic and plastic. pieces of shit. It's like I dug a hole underneath there. I handed her the chain and I said, Hook this I had to come up and get the Yukon. Like hook this onto your car underneath there. You gotta feel for the metal. That's what you have to hook it on. You can't hook it on your bumper, we will rip your bumper off. Back the Yukon up. I went out and tied it, and when she couldn't get it to stay on because there just wasn't enough tension, like, get it to stay on her car, I'm like, all right, so I had her hook it on, and I just pulled just enough that it was tight so it would stay, so she could get in, and I asked her, it's hooked on the metal, not on your bumper, correct, she goes, yeah, I'm like, all right, off we went, and <laughs> bumper's off, <laughs> and I'm like, then you know what? They wouldn't wake me up. So uh, this all ensued because they wouldn't wake me up. Yeah. Yeah. You had to get up at 2.30 in the morning. It was like 11 o'clock at night. Would you have woke him up? Yeah. I would have preferred to have been woken up in a situation like that at my house. I didn't want him Especially to be because I have a background in towing. So I would Well, my like, problem is, is... Like, if we fucked up our Yukon, like, that's on us. Like, that's expensive. I don't... have to fuck with. I mean, sure. Oh, because... Oh, I didn't want to worry about getting you up. Like, luckily, it was her fucking bumper and not my bumper. That's because I didn't hook it onto a bumper on the Yukon. I hooked it up to the damn t- hitch. I'm just saying. I'm smarter than that. Which is arguably not that great. Cause, but it would have worked. It was the safest thing I could think to do because then I know I the, in the moment the it was better. Yeah, but like you got tow hooks on the front. Yeah, right. Which the only problem was is I didn't want to try and back up the driveway. Understandable. The, the road, it was, it was blizzard. Shitty. Oh, it was all you have out. to do is have it in four low and just put yeah, it. Yeah, but I'm not good at reversing. It was better for me to not. Okay. I hate reversing. I'm not good at it. Good enough. That's okay. Good. She stayed here until you got up in the morning, and then you took her home. No, I did not. Somebody was here to pick her up when I got up. Marco. Pull up. I like how he did both. I did. Just to make double sure he won. <laughs> <clears throat> I thought about going do both. Well, I pre-anticipated it I last just time. Because I hit my nose before he did last time. 
This time, I honestly wanted to get your guys' attention, because usually I get somebody in the middle of a sentence, ah. so I was trying to get both of your attention, so I'd be like, Polo! So, you have some questions for us? And she's like, let me hit this first. Ferg. Okay. Where'd it go? I'm hang on. It's your own screenshot you took. Mm-hmm. Now she's gonna know what the uh, uh question, the night no. the word of the night. No. I had it on her screenshot already. I had two. I have two screenshots. What is the lie you tell yourself most often? A lie you tell yourself? Mm-hmm. You personally. What lie do you tell yourself most often? I don't. No? Why would you need to lie to yourself? When a situation is <coughs> going to shit and I go, it's fine, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm lying to myself so that I can make sure I'm fine. Just to I make think, sure I believe it. I think I want to change the question and say that my biggest lie to everyone else is I'm fine. My biggest lie to myself is I'm fine. My, uh, how I look at things is, uh, like my lip says, I am what I am. <coughs> um, <coughs> I just take shit upon myself. And, like, when I have, like, a something that's seriously shitty, I just trudge through it. Like, I just tell myself, you're right, you are what you are, you're a beast, you can do this. And I just trudge through whatever bullshit I'm trudging through. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's how I do it. My thing is, is I'll tell people I'm fine because sometimes I don't really want to talk about it. I don't want to explain about it, you know. So I'd rather just be like, yeah, I'm fine. Instead of actually sitting there going off about, like, a whole long list of bullshit. That's sometimes just nothing. I lie to myself and tell myself, I'm fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. You want to know why? Because shit goes to hell, and I need to be fine. I got shit to do. I got stuff to take care of. I got situations to handle. If I tell myself I'm fine and I can make myself believe it, (coughs) it'll be okay. I'll deal with whatever emotions and shit I'm feeling later. Right now, I'm fine. I got shit to do. Another one of my biggest lies to myself (laughs) is one more game. (laughs) <laughs> one yeah, more if game. I had to say a lie to myself, yeah, one more game, I guess. <laughs> and that's because, like, I can't end on a, a really shitty game. You, also you can't quit. you can't quit on a win, and you can't quit on a shitty game. So when are you supposed to quit? When, when you, you had, had a, a decent game. When you fought with fucking honor. Like, when you had a decent game. Like, I can't land with three teams and get my ass slaughtered in eight seconds and be yeah. like, oh, I guess I'm going to bed now. No. Mm, I need a mulligan. <laughs> like, I, if, if I at least make it like two minutes into the game at least, and I'm not the third team dead, then I will then be like, okay, I I need to go to bed. But like, I if I'm like last game and then I win it, sorry fucker, you're playing another game. Like, right? It's when you're on a roll, you're on a roll. Though sometimes but. better go out on top. Sometimes, not all times. If you're I like feeling, going out there's on a top. different there's a difference between feeling hot and like oh we just fucking got that you know I don't know like sometimes sometimes I'll get good and ripped and I don't know why my aiming's so much better when I'm ripped but it really is and like I don't turn down any of my stats or anything like I'm just really good at aiming when I'm ripped and ask her I got my first 2k badge the other day yeah, nice. you did. so that's 2k damage in one game which is not a lot for a lot of people but I keep getting 1900 and I can't do the 2000 <laughs> I just it's like a stigma I can't fucking do it I get to it and then I get all fucking nervous and I die or something stupid happens so I finally got one with the new character so I was pretty excited about that or some kind of off the wall bullshit happens yeah oh yeah like I just have the worst luck in the world with that shit. Like, before you couldn't tell what damage you had done. So I'd be like, oh, I know I'm doing so good. And then I would die. And I'd be like, 1950. And I'm like, fuck my life. Because <laughs> it don't matter if you win the game or not. If you get the 2K badge, you get the 2K badge. Right, right. It just the other day, I had 11 kills in 2K. Or, no. Yeah, 11 kills in 2K badge. I was super excited. And then my next game, I had like 6 kills still. So, like, it wasn't just that I was 
I was on a roll right then. I I was actually just pretty on it. I was doing good. You were just having a good night of playing. Right. Another light I've told myself is uh, no guitars after ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling really hard with that now Ooh. that I have electric guitars. So Another just... lie. I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a horrible lie. That's a lie if she tells me. <laughs> She'll be like, I, I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm like, uh-huh. I literally say it like, the, that's me in the female, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know how, like, every female you've ever, yeah, uh-huh. Or you hear, yeah, okay. Every time, yeah, okay. All right. No, I'm going to do this, yeah, okay. Yep, that's me, uh-huh. <laughs> yep. You want to know why? Because into this relationship, behavior-wise, I'm the man. <laughs> I clean up. After me. After her. All the time. So or I'll you. bitch about something for four days straight. Until it gets done. Because she keeps saying, oh, I'll grab it. Oh, I'll grab it. Oh, I'll grab it. After four days, I'm like, I'll get it. And I get it. I just like, oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> like, how is it that fucking hard? <laughs> like, oh. There's so many fucking fireflies out tonight. I know, I keep Good seeing them. I'm not supposed to turn around. I'm not Well, everything's there. all foggy. Like, super foggy, because it rained all day. Yeah, it's actually really cool. Yeah, it is. It's super dope. It's super eerie. It's I neat. like it. I like it, too. It's this time that I like to take photos. I love taking photos in super it's foggy areas. It's this kind areas. of time and weather. I hate driving. Oh, yeah, no. Like, yeah. Driving no. in twilight in the fog is yeah. poo-poo. Twilight fog is the worst condition, I feel like. <coughs> Easily. Like, I, it's almost as bad as driving in a whiteout, I swear to God. So what's your other question? Oh, shit. Um, that one we got talking for quite a while. Yeah, yeah. That's, by the way, the second time I've eaten it off this motherfucker. <laughs> Already. Second time. If I'm eating it, I'm not no, I'm just saying it. I'm not happy, but I fucking hate it. Alright, I want to know if you guys feel older or younger than your age. I feel older. Um, not gonna lie. Uh, mentally, I'm definitely way younger, I feel like. Um, in a lot of ways, but I guess maybe not in other ways. So I don't fucking know. I, um, I, physically, I I'm definitely getting. older. Physically, yeah. I'm definitely older than 31. Yeah. Um, science has proved it. Um, I had to get a scan done of something when I was 24. Um, and the doctor was like, I don't know if I have the right, uh, this is like the fifth or sixth time a doctor's told me this, but, cause I always, I'm like a medical anomaly, I swear to God. Like, <laughs> he's like, it's like the fourth time that I've had a doctor say this, so like, I think I have the wrong person's, uh, paperwork. And I'm like, why, what's wrong? Uh, the scan that we did, the skeletal of this, like, the skeleton of this person's, like, a 55-year-old man. I'm like, oh, sweet. Nice. Because I'm, like, 24. He's like, yeah, you've been beating the shit out of yourself, bud. I'm like, eh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I've lived wildlife. <laughs> yeah. I, it's, mentally, it's I definitely don't feel like I'm 31. And sometimes I forget I'm 31. Because I feel like I'm younger most of the time, but then I go to stand up somewhere and I'm like, nope, there it is. See, my problem is I work with all teenagers. Yeah. And none of them think I'm even close to 30. They all think I'm like 24, 25. Wow. Because they, they just look at me like I don't look like I'm 30, I guess. Do I, I don't look know. like I'm 30? I know. I don't know. Like, it's hard. My. My, like. My brain doesn't think I do. I guess yeah, my I've... thought process of people at age 30, like, as I was thinking of them, are, like, my parents and shit, and I'm like, did my ba my dad look like I do now? Like, I don't know. I need to like, find it's weird for me. I have a hard time with I it. I need to find a picture of my mom 20 years ago. So I was 10. I just feel like, I don't know, I don't look like... Mentally... I don't feel like I look like I don't know. Like, and I definitely don't feel like I act like I'm 30. At the same time, I feel like I, I do. I don't know. Mentally, I do feel like I'm not 30, but, like, I've also been told when I, while growing up, I've always been, like, an old soul, so yeah. I, I, like, I feel like I've gone through fucking hell sometimes. Well, like, I have always, 
like been really old souled about everything, I guess. <coughs> but like me and Mal have been talking lately. I had a couple of conversations that are really weird, not really good conversations, but not bad, just kind of <coughs> weird. I don't know. We were thinking about it and we're like, man, we're already past like our 20s and into our 30s. We're like, how did it, how did 20 to 30 happen already? Yeah. I, I think it's been 10 years. Like, we were thinking about different shit that we've done in the last 10 years. Like, me and Mel's done a lot in the last five years, honestly. Yeah, we have. Um, but I ten know. years ago, I didn't think I'd be doing what I am right now. But I definitely feel like from like eight, well, we'll say twenty to twenty-four was a big waste of time for me. Yeah, uh, like from the time I was like nineteen until you and I got together. Um, yeah, that was a huge waste of time. Yeah, like I definitely feel like twenty to twenty-four was. I was with my ex-wife. And, like, we made... Well, first off, we were stupid fucking poor. Until she started making money tattooing. And then I got into the casino. So I had a lot better pay at that job than my job of dealing with children. So, like, I went up hugely in pay. And then my ex-wife, like, started making, like, four times what I made. So, like, it was just, like, all of a sudden we had money. And, like, for, like, the next two years... We ate out all the time and, like, frivolously spent on bullshit. And I really just feel like I wasted a lot of time. I, I don't know. I, I guess so. now now being that I'm not with my ex-wife, I wasted time on her, I feel like. But at the same time, I'm like, uh It's time you can't get back, so, I mean, be a waste okay, well, because it's I not waste, there anymore. Yeah, I wasted time with two husbands and a baby daddy, so... I don't know. Like, me and Mal's also talked and said, like, we're happy that we got together when we were 25. Yeah. Because we initially were going to get together when we were 19. And it didn't work out. I think he was would have been too hot-headed, and I would have been too hot-headed at the time to really make it work. Right. Like, it's funny. Everyone knows me for having a bad temper and stuff. But, like, when I was a kid, I had a really bad temper. Same. And then when I was Same. a teenager, it was really bad, too. Same. And then, like... Probably about the time I was, like, 22, 23, I really just mellowed out. And then, like, I started smoking weed at 26, and, like, I've really mellowed out. I'm just kind of chill. Like, I could get fired up for sure still. I mean, no problem. But, like, I don't know. You've got it much more under control now than you used to, and I do, too. Like, it takes a lot for me to actually get pretty pissed. It really does. I don't think I really take control of mine till more recently, I'm not going to lie. But I, it's something I always struggled with. As a kid, it was always hard, because, I don't know, I both my parents have really bad tempers. Like, really bad tempers. I feel like ADHD didn't help with my temper, either. In general. I don't, I don't know how... Because I don't know, it just, I, like, made me just me, think more about things and get more pissed off about things later on, and just... I, even now, I'm still super hot-headed. Music. That's what... That's what keeps me, like, normal. Like, I just need some music sometimes. And I know when I need music for it, and that's what I... That's You know what I mean? I do it. I set up... Whatever I'm feeling, sometimes I can be super fucking pissed and while I just gotta listen to something soothing, like Sinatra or something like that. You know what I mean? Just something smooth. Right, right. You know? And then sometimes I gotta listen to something pretty fucking aggressive. Sometimes it's just like that song, that one song. You're like, ah, oh, I really need that song right now. Yeah. And then you listen to it and you just feel so enlightened. I have that moment almost every day. Well, I'm just saying when you're mad, it's a really nice, really nice feeling. Really nice. Fuck off. <laughs> hey, we said we was going to get fucked up. We says we go get fucked up, kiddos. We're like halfway there. Right, we're working on it. This is like the most baked I get every week. Yep. Because usually we only smoke like one bowl. Sometimes two. Now that we have dabs again, we rip a dab or two and then...
one bowl. Smoke a bowl. The other day she was having a rough day, so we had two. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. (laughs) We had, like, three or four dabs. And... Two bowls, like I was. And I mean like, the dabs that we have now. I was, yeah. which I was, I'm sure yeah. you're you're probably feeling by now. Yeah, I was looking to get severely fucked up. It was a success. Sure was. <coughs> That's been our mission for like a week. Just get fucked. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know why. It's been a week. It's okay. Oh, Hello. You gave yourself away. She was loud. She was so loud. <laughs> I'm always loud. I said polo too. You said it quietly. You look like a fucking cockatoo. <laughs> so? You like my long hair. I, I do. I adore the fuck out of your long hair. It's down to the point where it looks like a nineteen or er, a 2005 to 2011 emo kid. It's almost one of those punkish mohawks. A faux hawk. Yeah. Yeah. He says a punkish. I mean, if you put your... I bet if you put the shit in your hair, you could probably make a pretty wicked mohawk. Oh, I bet. (laughs) I mean... We're we're (coughs) getting some length there. Yeah. I actually had an actual man bun today. I looped it and it actually stayed looped. No, it was beautiful. It's getting (coughs) long. (laughs) <laughs> I love it. I hate the way it feels right now, though. It feels really fucking greasy. That's because we were in gross lake. water. Yeah, yeah. it's like Erie. The water felt delightful, but it was gross. And the boy was over there slurping it up. Like, uh, oh my god, the baby was laying oh. on her belly, licking the rocks, and I'm like, stop it. That was had a dead fish like eight feet away from it. I'm like, why? Uh, stop! Stop it! It tastes like fish. I'm like, uh, come on, girl. We're like, get away from the fish. Like, get away from it. And as the boy was, the other boy would go, the bitch! The bitch! Mom, the bitch! <laughs> yeah. He wants fish so bad. He keeps asking if we can put fish in that huge tank we have. <laughs> 75 gallon <laughs> tank. What are you having that? Fish, but if uh, it was the other boy, he'd be like a bitch. We got a bitch. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> and whoever was asking him would be very unenthused. My favorite's when he's chanting <coughs> through Walmart, and all the old people are just glaring at me, and I'm like, "Yeah, buddy, fish. It's a fish." <laughs> I don't. I just let him do it. Keep walking. Yeah, bitches. <laughs> You're hilarious. Come on, he's fucking four. Oh my god, all five of us went into Walmart today. It was Holy a fucking shit show. Fuck, there's a reason why I grocery shop alone. <laughs> <laughs> Good god. <laughs> you gotta keep them fucking corralled. Like, imagine keeping three four-year-olds and a four or a five-year-old corralled uh. together in Walmart. <laughs> You're as bad as a fucking five-year-old, okay? Don't even give me your shit. She has to touch everything. Literally, she has to touch everything. You know the pillows with the glitter on them that flip both sides like the fucking sequins? She literally flips them back and forth. I'm like, why? Like, fucking stop it. She draws shit in it. and I'm like, could you be any more six-year-old than now? God, God. Are you one of those people who go to the meat and poke the hamburger before you pick it up? No. Wait. She has to touch everything, though. I'm telling you. She has to be like... La, 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 la. I a, oh, she's walking through aisles like you And I like things that are soft. And so I like to find things that are soft. And as I'm walking by clothes, blankets, anything. I'm like, no, I don't even go like this. I take my fingers and go... Whoosh, 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 every time. Yeah. Wow. When you get a new rug and it's already dirty, it's because of people like her. <laughs> Touching it with their greasy ass hands. Anyways. Really? You want to bitch about my greasy ass hands touching something one time, but you're okay with ruining somebody's perfectly good dining room table that they didn't even know we ruined? <sighs> we didn't ruin story. it. 
Did not ruin it. Did not get anything on it. it. It got a pair of ass cheeks on it, okay? And handprints. So? It was four place Did certified. Did I ruin that table too because I touched it? No. Then I'm not ruining the other stuff that I touched. Her ass is way less greasier than her hands. I'm just saying. My hand still touched it. Shut up. I feel like somebody's probably, like, now second thoughting their their uh, table was like, did somebody fuck on my table God. in the furniture store? God damn it. Now well. I have to think about my table and ass cheeks. They're, my kids eat on that fucking table. Well, the old lady who worked there didn't know. Yeah, she was downstairs. There was no cameras. She was there by herself. I was like, <laughs> this is perfect timing. She was like, no, we're not having sex on somebody else's table. I'm like, we sure are. Come on. <laughs> I convinced her to do it. He did. And as soon as we were done, she walked up. You guys signed and everything okay? And we're like, yep. We're good. I thought it was great. Yep. Come on. You gotta have some, like, variety is the spice of life. When you have a partner in marriage, you don't have a variety in who it is with, so you have to have a variety of where it is, what it is. Understandable. That's, that, that's what makes it fun. Took him, like, five years to get me to let him give it to me at the damn antique mall behind the books. There's a lot of people, there's cameras everywhere, so it's a pretty hard one to actually get <laughs> get a safe place there, but we did. It was cool. <laughs> it was fun. <coughs> That's a challenge when there's like 200 people in the in the building, just roaming around. And cameras. So it makes it fun. You're like, oh, a good place to fuck in, come on, where's a good okay. rat? <coughs> We get caught, and we both go <laughs> out for it. The person <laughs> we're gonna have to call is his mom, and I really don't <coughs> want to hear that conversation on the way home. Yeah, but we won't go to jail or anything like that. We'll be able to leave. You'll just get a fine for indecent exposure. Yep. Yeah, that's all. It'd just be know. times two for both of you. We just yeah, we just both have one. Oh goody! It's just more money. They might even give you a couple of One more, more, and we can play rummy. <coughs> I don't know. It might give you a couple of discounts, so. Bogo, buy one, get one. <coughs> look, look, look. We buy can one, charge one, both of you, yeah. but. Listen, 420 bucks, just saying. Knowing him. He'd just be able to talk our way out of it. As long as I'd shut my mouth, he'd be able to talk us out of it. I have the silver tongue. He does, he does. And, I mean, sometimes I can play along with him on stuff and whatnot, but other times... I'm really good at talking. What's the worst that happened? You have to buy the table. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that was in the book place. The table, I wasn't worried about that place. It was like an old rickety place that no one gives a fuck about. That's why I gave the grand total of like 30 seconds to convince me with that place, but five years with the other place. Yeah, oh yeah, I've tried convincing her to let me like sit in a rocking chair and she could just sit in my lap while wearing a dress or something. No, she won't do it. We've tried, I've tried all kinds of ideas. It just don't work with her. You finally figured it out. You got it to work. Next time it's got to be some more more risky. Or not? <laughs> it <ain't> rain. <laughs> I mean, it is wow. Really, it is quite cold, and it's really warm out still. That's wow, just a lot of condensation. That is a crazy amount of condensation. Hmm. I pick up my drink, and it is dripping like it was out on your porch. I keep forgetting I have peach rings. <sighs> I keep moving just wrong, and I keep getting a jolt of pain through my whole body, from oh, my honey. neck. And I'm like, oh, good God, stop it. Like, you'll notice I'll, like, just move just right, and I'll, like, kink my neck back really quick. I'm like, oh, fuck. This pipe's kicking my fucking ass. Yeah, by the way, it's smooth as hell, but it's mean as shit. 
I was trying to shit tell Jordan. <laughs> I'd smoke it faster, but I don't want to be coughing throughout the fucking show. <laughs> right. I've done that before. I well, don't I was telling do it again. Him how you how you should hit that. I'm like, it's clear. You can see it. I was like, you can see when it starts getting cloudy. Take your hit when you're com- when it's as cloudy as you want it to be. Don't let it get pure white and then be like, oh, I'm gonna try to clear this. Like you made it pure white and there's still a good amount in there. <coughs> you don't have to carb it when it's to this point now. Uh-uh. If you just hit it, it'll like build up and then come out. Like it's, that's the good thing about those chambers. All right. All right. If it's going pretty good, you it's don't even not, have to carve it. Out right now. All right, let's try this. Yeah. Way it. <laughs> He's like, oh fuck! I just don't want to like, wear all that condensation. Yeah. If you just sit forward, just ever so much. <laughs> it's just like eating. Want to stop? You know, making messes on your shirt. You gotta lean more forward. Right. Fat guy trick 101. Yeah. Lean, lean over the table. Try to eat over the plate, you yeah. know. That's why you shovel food down, too, fat guy 101. My favorite thing in the morning is listening to all three of our children lean over our bowls with their spoon going. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great habit to let them get into. Yeah. Good news. I've gotten the other boy to stop doing that. Now he just picks the bowl up and drinks it. Like a normal human. The baby won't. And the other boy... She's pretty won't. rebellious, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's quite the butthole. She is quite the butthole. But she don't want to do something. She ain't gonna fucking do it. Nope. She don't give a fuck. Nope. Like, the other day, she bit her brother and was prepared to take the bite. Like, she can't... Put her hand out. You bite your brother and she goes... Like, she knew, she's like, because, like, we, we, like, bite her, not hard, just, like, enough for her to be like, ow, that hurts. Like, don't, <laughs> don't bite, you know what I mean? Yeah, so not anything to hurt her no. or anything like that. But, like, we've done it a time or two, well, she literally, we're like, did you bite him? Sticks her arm right <laughs> out. Like, she knows, she's like, I know, I get one myself, just do it and get it over with. Like. I'm like, you're a. Uh, <laughs> like I literally start giggling and I'm like <laughs> she's not very good at keeping a straight face no neither are you oh my god the other day I was trying to correct her that instance I was trying to correct her I was like you want me to bite you no and I'm like well why are you biting other people she just shrugs and like I totally said that the wrong way by the way I was like don't do that you know what I mean? I was, I was like yelling at her, and I was like so badly not trying to laugh, just because I don't know what her the, face. It was just horrible because I was kind of we were kind of not ready for that. No. So yeah, no, it was not good. No, I'm trying to keep a straight face and bitch at her. Yeah, no, it didn't work. I wasn't doing a very good job. I'm over here hiding my face. There was one time, it reminds me of the time my dad was trying to bitch at me for something, and I couldn't stop laughing at him because he had uh, mayonnaise in his beard because he just finished eating, and he's like, what the hell are you laughing at, boy? And I'm like, you, you got, like, mayonnaise right there? <laughs> it broke his anger, like, instantly. It was a great moment. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That probably would just enrage me more. I'd be like... <laughs> I give zero fucks about the mayonnaise. He laughed and it was like, oh, and he went back to see his it. Yeah, like, Damn it. Damn it. Try to be really good there. Try to be an actual adult right now and correct my kid. And he's laughing at me. Because <laughs> I got fucking mayonnaise in my face. <laughs> ah! I get so mad. Because our kids to do something. And they fight me so hard. And I look at Odd and I'm like, well, you tell them. And he tells them and they... And off they go to do it. I'm like... And I, I don't even yell at him. I don't say a yelling voice. Like the other day, the other boy, she was trying to get him to pick up his plate because he fucking tossed it on the floor with filled with food. He was mad. Yep. 
I so was I, making him clean it so up. So she was making him clean it up. So after like three times of her telling him and smacking his ass once, I was like, all right. So I got up and I went in and I leaned down. Pick it up right now. And he just like looked at me. Just pissed off looking. Mm-hmm. I was like, I ain't going to tell you again right now. He look, looks, or er, like slowly looks away, g- puts his hand out and grabs this whole <laughs> big chunk of food. Slides it over to him and starts putting it on the plate. I'm like, all right, keep it up. <laughs> yeah. He just, like, he knows I'm just not going to fuck with him. I'm not. I don't fuck around. He's just like, he he knows he's not big enough to (laughs) not to do something about it. And he's just like, can't knock that around. (sighs) Like, he just, he just, no, he's just not going to do it. He's just, fuck. My personal favorite is still when I look at him and go, bye. (laughs) But I'm not at him. And he looks at me and goes, bye, mom. See you later. And stomps away. And I was like, oh my God. I wasn't prepared for it. Neither one of us were. It was the it's, first time he ever did it. She's like, he's never done that before. I'm like, oh, it looks like he hasn't. And she's like, I was like dying trying not to laugh. Oh my like, God. It was the funniest thing. She's like, bye. And he's like, bye, mom. See you later. As he's like fucking stomping down the hall. And I'm just like, oh. what the fuck? He kid? goes, you just let him talk to you like that? And I'm like. He's she was just like, I, yeah, he ain't done that before. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? I said bye. It was and just he funny. reciprocated. Like, what am I supposed to do? It was so funny, though. He was like, bye, see you later. Just <laughs> fucking stomping as he's doing it. Each step, I'm like, all right, bud. Good God. It was just the funniest thing. Seeing a four-year-old do it, like, it's, oh, the oh greatest. Oh, God. Oh, one of the funniest things I've Fantastic seen in a while. Fantastic fours. No, oh. no. It's little fucker fours. <laughs> Get it right. Or fuck me fours. Ugh. Fuck me. Because <laughs> yeah. all the shit they put you through. Right now we're in thrashing threes, little fucker fours, and knock you out nines. <laughs> What's ten? Too much trouble ten. I'll find out in a couple months. I haven't had a 10-year-old before. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't know, he pushes her buttons, though. He knows exactly how to do them, too. He does, and it pisses me off. He he blatantly pisses her off. It's funny, because it's a Virgo thing. He's such a dick. Well, he's very manipulative. And that's, like, one of the main things that Mal hates, is being manipulated. Oh, I hate it so much. And he tries to manipulate her so badly. And she knows it. So it really pisses her off. He doesn't usually succeed too well, but he tries his damnedest. He's really good at pissing you off with it, I know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, me and her are 100% all the time. She says something, it's what's go- what's going to happen. If I say something, it's what's going to happen. So, like, he'll be like, well, Mom said it's up to you. I'm like, mm-hmm. well, it's up to her then. He's like, oh, I just... <laughs> so he'll go back and be like, he said it's up to you. And then usually I'm like, And then the he'll, he'll add some shit in there that's his own shit <laughs> to try to, like, manipulate her. And then she's like, no. Because you're trying to manipulate me. <laughs> and he's like... Uh, 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 she's like, shut up. Yeah. Pisses me off to no end. Like, don't fuck with me. Don't lie to me. Don't... No. Don't try and play me. Like, he stole one of the baby's chicken nuggets tonight. Mal oh. looked back because he jammed the whole thing in his mouth. So then Mal looked back and he spit it back into his hand and tried to slowly, like, Put try to stick it back box. in her box without Pissed Mal me noticing. Because busting, busted, and, I, and he wouldn't answer me, and I was just kind of like... <sighs> She's getting pissed. And I went to look back and I saw him doing it. I'm like, are you serious? Are you really trying to put that back in her box right now? I took it and I threw it out the window. Yeah, they should have. 
I was pissed, because all he had to do was tell me he wanted some more, because we had more food. Like, I had plenty up there. He could have more. He didn't need to steal it from his sister, not answer me. He, like, he would not acknowledge that I was speaking to him at all. Ask him. He would not acknowledge that I was speaking to him. He's yeah. thinking about getting that food. Yep. Like, so when I'm, he gets in trouble, that's what he does. He's just like, huh? What? Huh? Which is another and thing I'm that like, pisses me off. I'm just like, really? The thieving tens. He's been the thieving eights, nines. <laughs> oh, he's bad. Yeah, he is. I think this is almost bad. It is bad. I figured. But he did get a lot better for a little while. He now did. he's getting back there. I I know what the problem is, but we're just sort of not going to address it here. Right, right. No. Not the place. Or, like, talk about it here. No, we not can address place. it later. Right. But it's just... He's just a I don't bird. know. He, he gets in the, like, that mood. He's got he's a good kid and he's got a heart of gold. Like he's honestly a really good kid. I don't know why he likes to piss me off. He just gets in these moods and he wants to poke the bear. It's a kid thing. He's getting older. He no, like that's just how he likes to act. Like that's what he likes to do though. I well, I remember when I was 10, I kept I was like pushing closer. When I was 10, I was getting money. <laughs> So like okay, but you don't count because you were not a normal ten year old. Okay? I know you were not a normal child. No, not really. You've never been normal. <laughs> I mean, that's the way to be. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I used to love fucking with my mom, but my way of fucking with her was scaring the shit out of her. Like that was my favorite thing to do. Oh, I used to scare my grandma so good. Oh, man, she lived with us. It was the greatest. My favorite dollar I've ever spent was the ice cube, plastic ice cube with the spider in it. I can't tell you how many times I scared my mom with that. Worth it. So worth it. I also spent $5 on a plastic tarantula that was this big and hid it in her bed on several occasions. (laughs) She'd go to bed at, like, 2 in the morning and... You know, throw her, bla- throw her blankets back in the dark and see this huge spider on her blanket and lose her shit. My my grandma used to live with us, and uh, she I she had the bedroom I had after she had moved out, um, and it was like a really weird shaped room. And uh, she would go to go to bed, and I would like hide in her closet, and then like after she was done in the bathroom, like you know, get finishing getting ready to go to bed or whatever. She'd go to get in bed, and I would, like, ah! Like, jump out and scare the shit. Oh, my fucking God. My grandma would be like, you're such a little shit! <laughs> or I'd hide in her bed, like, yep. along with the blankets and stuff. Like, make the blankets all, like, so you can't tell if somebody... She'd go to flip it open, and I'd be like, hi, Grandma! And she'd jump so... Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. I love fucking with my grandma. It was the best. My mom, I'd hide around corners, or, like, sit on her porch and just be real quiet while she's coming up, and just be like, hey, Mom! And she'd, be, pfft, she'd lose her shit. My favorite is... My favorite thing about it is about 95% of the time when you scare the hell out of her, she farts. <laughs> And it's the best. It just it makes it ten <laughs> times funnier. It really does. It's like a little scared too. And I'm like, oh yeah? It's loud as shit usually too, because it's horrible. Oh my god, that woman, so, I don't know who shoved the fucking boat horn up her ass, but they should It's so it. bad. Funny as shit though. Oh. I'm out and I don't talk really, but... That was something I always loved, the scaring the fuck out of her. Right. I mean, who doesn't enjoy scaring their parent, though? I found that the other boy has been trying to scare people. There's been a couple of times that he's oh, been... Oh, that's because I do it to him all the time. <laughs> right, but he does it, too. <coughs> he tries. I know, he jumped out of the bathroom at me the other day, a little brat. <laughs> I was like, taking lessons after dad. He scared the shit out of me. All right, you ready? Well, for what? Oh, okay, yeah. All right, what is horny jail? I know this one. Oh, it's when your wife or your, we'll say your significant other, cuts you off because for whatever reason, and you're horny as fuck, but you're not allowed to have none. Okay. It's uh, a place, note in quotes, 
that people get sent to when they're horny. It's because they're they're being punished for being horny. It's, it's another way of calling someone out as horny. You go to horny jail. Okay. Red is correct. For the, like, a most part. I actually part. knew this word. A, a most part. So it says... When you're when you're being horny, especially around friends, and as a result, shamed, shame ensues. And then it says, "Friend one, ah oh, man, I could totally fuck a cat girl right now." Uh, why? That's really Go weird. to horny jail. Friend two, that's it. You're going to horny jail. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, it's followed by the doggo going bonk. Huh? If you talk in mean. I was way off. I don't know. I was just like, okay. Uh, it's a meme I posted about a lot a while it. ago. Especially when I was posting horny memes. <laughs> no, I can see it, though. I can see it. Like, me and Mal are really bad about stuff. Like, we were definitely really bad about stuff. Oh, what? Like, horny jail stuff. Oh, we're fucking terrible. <laughs> I know. That's the reason why I'm like, I could definitely see somebody Red be like, said- You guys get to go to horny jail! Red said the episode we did by ourselves was like the flirtiest bullshit ever. He was like, Yeah, I was fuck? like, guys, go to horny jail for fuck's sake. Fucking mama lot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even do anything. I just wanted to say it. Make sure it was out of the way. He just, just had to say it. It was on his mind. It it was can't there. let that shit go. It, it was part of the it was part of the segment of every dictionary. Mm, okay. <laughs> One of these episodes we need to just make a Huge ass sentence that includes every word that we've said. Yeah, on right. The show. I don't even know like a third of them. You <laughs> me? I don't see that shit. I just know I've already done it or I haven't done it. I can tell you that. <laughs> but like as to what what time frames or any of that shit, who fucking knows? Like I know we did watermelon sugar. Yeah, watermelon sugar can't die. Yeah, watermelon sugar. Otherwise, if it dies, then everything you know, else really dies. Funny? After this, I won't remember this word or what it means. What, horny jail? Yeah, I won't. I never remember what any of them mean afterwards. Oh, you don't remember what mama lo means? I, yeah, I remember. I know you guys call me that, <laughs> but I still can't remember what it means. A delicious mom. Duh. <laughs> so now it's just kind of weird that Red just calls me mama lo. <laughs> it's actually. Well, mean. it also means like. That you're just showing that you care about somebody as, it's like as being a mom figure. A mom figure in someone's life. I yeah. Mom a lot. I think it's Italian for mom, if you ask me. I'm pretty sure it is. I remember chanting mom a lot in the episode. Mama. Yeah. Right. I can't Google it. My phone's charging. Yeah, and she's like, no, I don't want to get up. Well, we had that conversation earlier. Yeah. I don't want to get up. I'm comfortable. Why the fuck would I want to get up? Mm-hmm. I have you guys to talk to. Why is your tongue red? I think it's, like, really red. Peach rings. Oh. I sold, like, half a bag because I forgot I had them. I was like, how the fuck? I ate mine in the first half. I forgot I had them. It's all good. I right? didn't eat them all. It happens. God damn, it hurt. <laughs> it happens. It happens, it happens. I was talking and nonsense, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh look, peach rings. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to when I get old. Because, like, right now my neck's all kinked or whatever the fuck. And, like, I'll just, like, something will happen and I'll, like, jerk. I'm like, fuck! Mm-hmm. And it's like, I can't control it. I'm like, oh god, I don't want that to happen to me. Get, like, old and fucking shaking, and I'm like, ah, just let me eat. eat. I can't fucking get it there because my hands shake it too much. God damn, it scares me. <laughs> I don't like the thoughts of it. it. Scares me. Then stop thinking about it. And then you just told me earlier in this episode. Yeah, but see, that's gonna happen because I when I you get old, that happens. <sighs> I just don't like the thoughts of it. Mm-hmm. And you said you'll think about what? Think about it when you get there. I know. I will. What are you thinking about? You'll be okay. This stuff pops in your head. I told you, I'm going to hire you an ugly male nurse to help you. An ugly male nurse. Interesting. You ain't getting no pretty little girl. It ain't happening. Understand. I'm sorry. Understandable, though. Yeah, I get it. 
I, I. But it has to be an ugly male. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I don't, know. I don't know. She's crazy. Very. <laughs> Should make her brother come over and start doing it. That's a great idea. You hate him. Good God. <laughs> That's what you need. No, because I don't you know hate what? I her brother. To, I it's have just, to deal with him too. So no. I. I don't. I can't have it respect for somebody that can't take responsibility for anything in their life. Right. I really can't, and I feel like her brother is horrible about that shit. He has no responsibility for anything. Right. And like that's what I can't handle about him. Right. Yes, I, I don't know. It's not that I don't like him. I think he's a fine person. I just very small increments. Yeah. That's that's about what I take him in. My entire family, I need small interviews. <laughs> There's a couple of them I enjoy spending some time with. I enjoy hanging out with um, the kids. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> yep. Michelle... Mitch. Yeah, but we only hang out with them in small increments. We I don't ever hang out with them in large increments, so therefore I really don't know if I could handle them in large increments or not. I gotcha. Would I be willing to give it a go? Absolutely. I really enjoy those small increment times we get to hang out with them. Right. Well, last time we hung out with them, we sat and smoked weed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On that, the porch. That's a great way to hang, you know, handle people. We were hiding from the rest of our family at Christmas. There was way too many people in one messy house, and I, we, none of us could handle it. Understandable. So all the stoners converged on the porch and hid. <coughs> Even the closet aunt and uncle stoners. Yep. Wow. <laughs> it's funny as shit to me. Wow. We're the bad influence. But everyone else smokes <laughs> weed too. So I'm like, how, how are we the bad influences? You were doing it on your own. I, I'm the like, bad influence, like... I'm just saying, this is why I love Squidward right here. Yeah, right. That's this is how I will hold Squidward. Oh, I know. So good, but just fucking. I love him. He's sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's funny. I like hanging out with your family way more. Me and your cousin were talking about that. The cousin that lives far away. Yep. That I like hanging out with your family way more than mine. Right, my mom's family. We don't usually hang out with my dad's side of the family a whole lot. No. I'm not much into alcohol, and my whole dad's family is into alcohol. And they're, and they're all more. very rowdy drinkers, so like they get kind of angry, and I don't mix well with angry or drugs. Or wild, and usually if we're going somewhere, we have our kids with us. I just don't want to expose them to the nonsense that my dad's family does when they get dumb. Yeah. So I choose not to go to that. <coughs> as much as I don't want to... Like, as much as I would love to see my grandparents and go to family parties, I just know what kind of a shit show it is. Most of the time, I mean, it's really a shit show around my dad's family. Oh, Oh, whoops. But it's definitely a really big shit show in my dad's family. Like, two-thirds of the time. It really is. So, like, I just rather not take my kids into that. <coughs> would I love to spend more time with my kids and stuff? I would. But, like, I just can't bring myself to take them over to family events. It's just not smart. Understandable. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> My mom's side, I mean, they all like to drink, <laughs> but they don't get stupid at parties, like and family not parties. When they drink. They just get kind of lazy and want to. They want to find stuff. a chair by a fire and sit down. That's what they want. And do. munch on some grindage. Yeah, understandable. I, that's that sounds. They don't want to fight everybody. That makes that sounds like fun. Honestly, not that was our Saturday night. Yeah. We all sat around a big fire, bullshitting and yeah. drinking. It was yeah. great. We We've always told you if you want to go with us, you can. I know you're not into hanging out with your friends' families, but oh, uh, all right, I might. It's fun. 
like the Fourth of July party at my mom's every year is a good time. Everyone sits, gets a chair, lots of great food, sit and fucking drink away and drink. bullshit with the family and yeah, you can sit play in cornhole if you want. You can go inside and bullshit. You can play <laughs> cornhole. They I have suck bocce ball. at cornhole. Huh? I suck at cornhole. Me too. Yeah, me I don't too. play it. I don't play cornhole. I try horseshoes, but I'm not that great at horseshoes. I only play cornhole with my dad's family. Like my, it's not my dad's family. My stepmom's family. Uh, want to play? Like I got sucked into playing this last Sunday. I played a couple of games with my brother-in-law and my. I don't Family. know. Cousin, yeah. I don't know three quarters of those people's names that were there the other day, okay? Right. Well, one's my brother in law. I recognize. At least you knew him. Well, yeah, my. Okay, so my. I have two stepsisters and two, two stepbrothers. And then they all have, obviously, their significant others. Um, But we're. Like, we get along and know. My sister is better than anyone else in the yeah, family. Yeah, which I don't mind them. I like them, and I like yeah. their, I like the one's husband. Right. He's fun, but yeah. So he's like, "Hey, you should come play cornhole." I'm like, "All right, I guess." He's like, "I'll be your partner." I'm like, "Well, I guess I win them all then," because <laughs> he's really good. Yeah, he is. So he just carries me, and I just. And more or less, uh, I'm place, there, guys. I'm a place marker, so that way they have a fourth person. Yeah. <laughs> You're not as bad as you make it sound, but what else? But, like, all of them are better than I am at the game. So when I do get a point on the board, they usually cancel it out every time. Every time. So, like, if I get a point, I'm like, yeah, fuckers, I got a point! And they're like... Not anymore. They're like, oh, okay. No, at the end of it, when I actually get my point, if I get one, I'm like, yes! And they're like... Okay, dude. All right. I'm like, no, it's a big deal, fuckers. You all play this all the time. I don't. Like, I got a point. That's a big deal for me. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't play. Like I've said, I'm a gigundus, like, ten-year-old. Right, right. I get it. And I'm a giant eight-year-old, so it works out okay. Yeah. That's why we were swimming till six o'clock. 6.30. None of us wanted to get out of water. So. Well, it's too hot. I have an idea. Oh. We have to do advice tonight. Advice of the night. Advice of the night. I have a really good advice. It and has to go with what we were with just your talking wife. about. Is it don't fuck with your wife in the water and get a crap in the neck. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Not a cramp. I just jammed it. It's all fucky. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> side tracker. <laughs> um, it has to do with our conversation. When you go, this is a really good one in my opinion though. When you go to anything to do with a family function, you make sure you park somewhere you can leave whenever you want. Yes, this is a big one. Like you yeah. leave when you want to. That you need to be able to leave when you do want to. Do not get yourself parked in. And well, like, make sure you drive yourself as well. Like that goes with it. Right, because seriously, I, I'm i all about hanging out with family, Side note. but once it gets to some point, like, sometimes it could just get dumb, and you just don't want to deal with your family bullshit. Side note, if you're younger and you have your car, but you still live with your family, take your car, so if you're tired of your family's bullshit, you can leave too. Yeah, oh yeah, I was did. Oh, fuck yeah, I did. My mom's like, you gotta drive with us? Nope. Nope. I'm like, I, I don't, don't know care. what's going to be going on when it gets done with. I might want to go somewhere I'll else. I'll burn my own fucking gas. I don't fucking care. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Like, my mom never had a problem with me driving myself once I I'll got I'll follow license. you guys out there, but I'm leaving. I know my way out. <laughs> it's just one of those things, like, sometimes one of my cousins came with me. We would go and find something to do afterwards. Like, you know, like... People I don't see all that often or whatnot. I'm like, hey, you want to do something later? Yeah, sure. What do you want to do? Like, right. one one night we had two sets of my cousins come over and we played Cards Against Humanity with them. Yeah. From a family function. Because you're all together already anyways. Why not? Fuck it up. Might as well. I love that. Cards Against Humanity, too. Oh, I know. It's so fun. We haven't played in forever. When everyone yeah. gets around, we all get really baked and then everyone just leaves. 
Yeah. It's one of those things we gotta do in the winter time. Because <laughs> yeah. we're all stuck in the fucking house and it's blizzard out. I feel like we're all a bunch of little puppy dogs sitting at the window staring, wishing that it would stop so we could be outside. Sometimes. Sometimes it's ridiculously hot out. Like, today. Yeah. Though, <laughs> you guys wouldn't know, you were in water, so... No, we, that's, what, that's we went why to we went. <laughs> yeah, like, once she's like, do we have any plans today? I'm like, no. She's like, can we go to Barcelona? I'm like, I guess. I'm like, it's really hot. Let's take the kids swimming and go have fun. Right. But I was just... It was a good, good day. Was I was expecting fun. it to be like last time. The shore was really low. So, like, there was plenty of, like, rocks and stuff to right, look at. Right. Tonight it was all filled in with water. Yeah, it was really uh, hot. It's, it's been raining. A yeah, lot it was really high, so there was like no beach to look at rocks at, because that's where you get beach glass at and stuff. Right, right. There isn't any ability to right now. Right, it's so high. I mean, you probably could on the little tiny bit of like rocks and stuff, but it's not nearly what it was last time we were there. Yeah, that's all right. The other boy and the baby had a grand time with the rocks. Right. And all three, well, the two boys really enjoyed their time swimming today, too. Yeah, they did. The baby enjoyed her time sitting in the very shallow part, letting the water splash on her lap. Right. She enjoyed that. Otherwise, she hated the water. She's three. But our bowl's about out, and so is our show. Yeah. <laughs> Catch you late. All right, so... If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe to our YouTube and whatever you're Download, on, Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. Wherever the hell you are. Uh, we don't Just know. because yeah. as much as we could get out there, it's, the better it is for us, you know. And, I mean, obviously, it shows that you guys like it. And we appreciate seeing that you guys like it. So yes, we would just love smile. to. It really does. Yeah. Love to see I that sub. So. everything. You know, we're going to get everything here rolling here soon. So on that set, I also want to say that we have our episode comes out every Friday night. Usually, hopefully, we like to get out about 420. And depending on work schedules, it doesn't always work out that way. But we try. But, <clears throat> so you can hear the Ganja people every Friday night after 430-ish. Somewhere in the afternoon, evening time. Yep. Every single week. All right. On that note, we're going to say we're out. So just remember, don't let your meatloaf. Keep it creative. Keep it dank, Ganja Gang. Toodaloo, motherfuckers. <laughs>